The families of the two came together to bury their loved ones who were snatched from them in the most cruel manner, the pain and their loss visible. Until last evening, when he met his untimely death, Issa Ali, a local veterinary officer, was going about his business as usual. About four kilometers into their journey, the duo were accosted by people believed to be police reservists from neighboring Mwingi Sub County. Issa Ali Nur, Nabishar Abdullahi, Ambaye Wamewawa Kinyama. Ni watu ambaye hawana hatia, watu walokuwa wanaenda kwa shughuli zao za kawaida. Uh, ingawa kifo ni haki. Lakini kuwawa mwananchi asokuwa na hatia ukitumia silaha ya serikali. Hii ni kitendo ambaye tunailani vikali. Ahada who witnessed the incident from a distance said an argument ensued between the vet and his killers before they shot him at close range and fled on foot. Hiyo mahali ambao hiyo ma hiyo Hiyo muta wao wajana wa mwawa ni 10 km from Sanargesa. Wameansa wazza amesikia trio rikmalio ya risasi. Alafu, sasa hiyo ajatoroka kachika tu chini ya miti ya kangalia tu kila inaandalia. Kwa mewana watu wa tatu ambao wanafaa uniform ya, ya polisi, hako wana kofia, ambao wako na... While condoling with the families, area MP Ali Wario condemned the incident and urged the Inspector General of Police Joseph Boynet and Internal Security Acting CS Fred Matiangi to ensure speedy investigations into the incident. Wario dismissed as baseless claims that the incident could be linked to a border dispute between the communities living on either side. Kwa hivyo mimi sioni hii kama jambo ya usalama. Mimi naona hii ni fitina tu ya kawaida. Sioni kama ni mambo ya mipaka. Isa ndi walikuwa scout. Isa ndi walikuwa naonyesha ipoa malile ngamia iliwawa. Malile manyumba ilichomwa. Isa ndi walikuwa ana, anaongoza ipoa katika msafara yao yote. So yes, it may, these guys know Isa very well. They have identified Isa. And, and, and definitely that's why Isa is killed today. The MP says this is the fourth incident in less than three months. He's calling for dialogue with his colleagues from Wingi on the protracted animosity that has led to loss of lives and property. The bodies were later interred at a Garissa Muslim cemetery in accordance with the Islamic burial rites. Caroline Kamar reporting for Channel One Weekend.